Now we will see how to perform a frequency calculation as well as how to use multiple CPU calls to speed up this calculation. So here I have the previously optimized structure of dihydrogen. Uh, it's the, exactly the same file we obtained in the last video. And now we want to calculate the frequency modes as well as the free energy using a frequency calculation. So we'll create a new file. And again, we have a command line, which is going to frec to use the same method. And now for this DFT method, we need to use a numerical frequency since the analytical frequency is not coded in the software. So that's just another way of calculating exactly the same thing. It's a bit slower, so we'll make use of multiple CPU calls to speed that up. But first, I'm going to show you what it looks like with just one CPU call. We we'll have non frec for numerical frequency. And then we need to specify the input file. And instead of just copy pasting the structure in this file, we can actually specify an external XYZ file right here. So normally we do XYZ, 0, 1, and then have this block. But instead, now we have XYZ file. And we specify the input file. So this is going to read calc.xyz and use that as input and then perform the frequency calculation on it. So we can just run this. And now the calculation is done. As you, you can see, it took 16 seconds, uh, which is not that much. But then again, uh, with much larger structures, it would take much more time. So we want to speed this up using all CPU calls on uh, our computer. So there are two ways to do this. If you have less than uh, nine calls, so eight or less, you can specify PAL and then the number of calls. So say eight. So this is the first way. Uh, and if you do this, you need to specify the full path to ORCA, which in my case is this. Otherwise, it will give you an error, but with the full path, it runs and it's going to run the numerical frequency with all, all eight calls. So you see, it took only five seconds uh, instead of 15. And the other way, if you have um, more than eight calls, is to use this block, the PAL block, and prox number of calls and specify end and again you specify uh, the full path to ORCA and you can run the calculation and it works exactly. So now we have uh, our output file uh, which is here and we have also this file which is the Hessian which specifies uh, all the frequency modes basically so we can look at it. And we have here vibrational frequencies. So we see we have just one frequency mode, which is not null, and it's frequency number five, uh, which has this frequency number. And now if you want to plot it, actually ORCA has a nice utility. And we give it the Hessian, and specify five, and then it's going to create an XYZ file. So we need to open this this and then we see here in states we have 20 structures which is 20 frames on that of an animation you can go uh, show as liquors and then if we play through we see this is a vibration so this is the only vibration possible of course um, and this is the information we want